In this video, we're going to learn about current and potential difference. When a circuit is complete, charge will flow around the circuit. We call the amount of charge that flows every second the current. Current is measured using an ammeter. The unit for current is amperes, or amps, or a capital A for short. Below is the circuit symbol for an ammeter. When you place an ammeter in a circuit, you should place it in the same loop as the components you want to measure. We describe the ammeter as being in series with the component. So in this circuit, there is just one loop of wire. And if we wanted to measure the current that is flowing through this lamp here, we would just need to place the ammeter in that same loop of wire. So I've placed it over here, I could have put it here, or here, or here, it doesn't matter where I put it, as long as I put it in the same loop of wire. So we've seen what this might look like drawn as circuit symbols. In reality, when you set up your circuit, it might look something like this, with your cell, your lamp, and wires connecting to your ammeter. Now let's look at potential difference. In a circuit, the cell, or if you have lots of cells together, a battery, provides the push that makes the charge flow. This push is called the potential difference, or sometimes you might see it written as voltage, but it's a lot better to use the words potential difference. Potential difference is a measure of how much energy the charge transfers to the component. For example, this light here. Potential difference is a measure of how much energy is transferred by the charge to this component. Potential difference is measured using a voltmeter. The units for potential difference are volts, or a capital V. Below is the circuit symbol for a voltmeter. To measure the potential difference of a component, you connect a voltmeter with two wires, one either side of the component. We describe this as the voltmeter being connected parallel to the component. So if we wanted to measure the potential difference of this lamp, we would need to connect a wire either side of the lamp to this voltmeter. We cannot put the voltmeter in the same loop as the component, that will not work. That's how we position the ammeter, but for a voltmeter you need to connect it with a wire either side. If I wanted to measure the potential difference of this cell for example, I would put a wire either side of the cell connected to my voltmeter. So this is what the circuit diagram would look like if we wanted to measure the potential difference of the lamp. And in reality, your circuit might look something like this, where you've got your cell here, and then your lamp, and then two wires either side of your lamp going to your voltmeter, which are these wires here and here. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSErevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.